Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar by Solution Exchange on Document Imaging for SAP HR. We're happy you could attend and hope you find the topic interesting. My name is Kristen Gerling, and I will be your host throughout the session. Our presentation today will take about 45 minutes, with 5 to 10 minutes reserved for questions at the end. I would like to give you a, pr a few procedural and technical notes up front. All our participants are on mute during the full duration of the webinar. Please post any questions or concerns through the questions function in your administration panel on the right side of your screen. If you cannot hear us or cannot see the presentation, please also alert us through this question panel. We will send out a transcript to those who are interested after the webinar. Please let us know through an email to info at solutionxchg.com. That is info at solutionexchange.com, solution exchange spelled solution X C H G. What let's dive right into the topic. Our speaker today will be my business partner, Jochen Hager. Jochen, would you introduce yourself, please? Thank you, Kristen. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jochen Heger. I'm a principal with Solution Exchange. Um, uh, Kristen and I have been in the document management market for SAP applications for many years. We have over 17 years in experience in managing applications and improving business processes around electronic document management for SAP. I'm happy to be with you today. And our topic today is uh, how we can improve HR processes using electronic personnel file management for SAP HR. Um, and uh, with that and without further ado, we dive right into the topic. The um, when we work with our customers, uh, what we um, here here are a few statements uh, that we usually get uh, from our HR clients. Uh, many of them tell us that their management wants them to be a more productive workforce in the organization, or pro sorry, proactive workforce in the organization. But many of them are mired down with everyday administrative work. Uh, that Im implies that uh, there there is not enough time in the day to really creatively think about improving HR processes and, and servicing the employees. There is too much time spent and too much manpower spent in managing day-to-day uh, -day processes. Uh, many of our clients are starting to uh, built out HR shared services and uh, find it difficult with uh, paper processes to really effectively support uh, shared service operations and and, and see um, docu electronic document management as an as a way out of that predicament. Also. Um, we often hear that paper-based management of documents and non-integrated uh, document management is very time-consuming, is slow, and prohibits speedy resolution, which in result, um, which results in low acceptance in the employees based and and um, and unfortunately also low policy enforcement because the tools are just not there to swiftly implement change, implement new documents or or um, give people access to the information they need to do their jobs or just to review documents in their own files. Uh, even though SAP has some core electronic document management that is part of the standard SAP HR rollout, um, a comprehensive personnel file management is missing. Uh, you can uh, sort documents by info types and you can attach them with generic titles, but you cannot uh, control uh, a, a full-fledged personnel file folder. And, and this is where add-on solutions like the XFT personnel file solution come into play. Those uh, solutions are productized solutions. They have intuitive handling, full ERP HCM integration. They look and feel like another SAP screen, another SAP um, 
transactions. They are integrated with self-service applications, employee self-service and manager self-service applications, and they use your existing infrastructure, the SAP GUI and web, and web front end applications. The implementation uh, for the XFT personnel file is, is really fast and uh, it offers a number of add-on functions that are not available in many of the other solutions like a file loaning process that closely simulates uh, the idea of giving a file folder to somebody else for a certain period of time to just review documents or uh, a role-based access methodology that fully integrates with SAP roles and authorizations uh, without any uh, additional IT overhead because your roles and authorizations are already set up in your system and we're using that. There, so there is no need for creating additional logins and and uh, or additional access profiles. It's 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 uh, it's all uh, to ninety percent. It's all ready there in your SAP system. Of course, there's full Microsoft Office integration, and if you wish to do so, if you have built out other workflows in SAP, those secured workflows can also be integrated. So the. XFT personnel offers a deep integration of formerly unstructured steps into uh, the SAP HR system, allowing organizations to flexibly design these processes and maximize an impact for all stakeholders. And, and that is done by adding emails, paper records, faxes, and so on into the existing HR processes and make them become part of a permanent record. And in the in the long version of our slideshow, we're looking at uh, various um, facets of the solution. How does the solution impact an HR professional? How does the solution impact a an HR manager? How does the solution impact an employee? Uh, because we have a limited amount of time today in this webinar, we, we, we plan on giving you a short demonstration and give you a lot of insight in how the solution works. We'll, we'll only focus today on the HR professional. We're happy to add uh, interesting information on those other roles in your organization as well. Just uh, contact us, uh, drop us an email, or let us know via phone call. Uh, that you would like additional information on how these other roles in your organization can be supported. And we're happy to supply that information. Now, for now, let's look at the HR professional and, and what are the problems we're seeing mostly uh, in with HR professionals in the way they're dealing with paper files. Uh, what we hear is that administrative tasks uh, take up a majority of the available work time. Uh, there's too much time spent on document gathering and filing. There's often whole teams that do nothing else but filing documents, um, paper documents and managing the paper records. Uh, these roles can be modified and can, can be put to much more productive use than handling paper documents on an ongoing basis. Plus, in today's world, not every document originates in paper anymore. A lot of documents are already available as PDFs or electronic documents. And um, the interesting thing is that they are being printed out uh, to be filed away in paper, which is really uh, counterproductive, and they should much rather be managed as electronic documents as they originated. Again, on paper documents, it's very hard to enforce internal and external compliance rules and regulations, which leads to significant compliance gaps. The whole retention management uh, uh, complexity cannot be solved with paper records. Uh, electronic records are the only way to handle that. And with all of those administrative tasks, there's often, as we said before, a lack um, a focus, a, a lack of strategic focus, a lack of time to focus on strategic tasks. Uh, so, um, how can we how can we improve that? Um, again, using an electronic personnel file uh, uh, allows 
to, to do that, uh, we have all the tools necessary to integrate documents from Microsoft Word, from Outlook, Excel, um, could be even Lotus Notes. Uh, the, you stay in your familiar environment. There is intuitive handling, secure check-in of documents and, and full integration into your application environment. And, and what that does is it minimizes administrative tasks, leads to fast document retrieval through electronic folders, and allows automated processes to ensure full compliance and retention management. And with that, frees up significant, uh, a significant amount of time to focus more on strategic HR work. Um, and this is just a write-up of what I was uh, talking about. Uh, so if you if you look at the the actual uh, screen presentation, uh, the actual slides, and we're happy to send those out to to those who are interested in the slide deck. Um, this this basically is uh, the written words to my to my talk track. Now, um, I would like to discuss a few use cases for you and, and uh, show you how the solution can actually integrate into day-to-day uh, -day personnel file handling. And we have prepared um, five different use cases, uh, one around a case review, um, one around an offer letter, approval and information, ESS, MSS, and some reports and statistics. And, and while we have all that material available, and some of it is available uh, through our YouTube channel, uh, some of it, uh, it, it we, we would love to demonstrate to you in a personal one-on-one -on -one meeting. Um, I, I want to focus on just one of the use cases today and, and briefly discuss the other use cases. So um, starting from left to right, um, uh, there is, is a standard functionality in the tool for easy navigation, document displays, some bookmark functions, some note functions. Of course, there is an integration to get documents into it through uh, the regular file system, uh, through uh, very convenient drag and drop functionality, as well as an automatic automatic archiving functionality that allows you to pull in documents from a scan service provider or from any other external interfaces. The document uh, is built in document categorization, as well as a full Outlook integration. Um, Approval and information uh, workflows are readily available. Some ad hoc workflows. Uh, ad hoc workflows are always there. You can forward documents to other users in your SAP system, but we also have pre-built approval and notification scenarios. For example, for approving a change to a document before it's being sent out, uh, for approving the deletion of a document, um, and we have other uh, functions like uh, dynamic user selection for those workflows with a predefined distribution list, which, which can be edited, can be added onto. Uh, there is a, a full workflow protocol section that allows you to document who approved what, and that ends up in a standard uh, a protocol, through a standard protocol function. It ends up as part of the written record in each personnel file. And we do have um, pre-built functions like checklists and um, other compliance workflows that need a little bit more customizing and are usually a second phase in the implementation of the personnel file. But even, even these are readily available and can be implemented in a short period of time. And when I say short period of time, we're usually talking consulting days, not consulting weeks or months. So all, this, all the things I'm going to present to you are readily a part of the package. Everything you will see in the demonstration I'll, I'll do here shortly is part of the standard package and, and can be rolled out just with the core product with um, uh, minimal customizing. 
We have integration into employee self-service and manager self-service, uh, and of course, role-specific views and document access uh, with uh, uh, full browser-based document management, meaning uh, you employees don't need a sub-GUI installed, managers don't necessarily need to access the documents through a sub-GUI, they can access it to a, through a web portal and even upload documents through a web portal functionality. Uh, other integrations we have um, uh, are around Adobe uh, process and forms that allow you to automatically add electronic forms that have been approved in your organization and routed through your organization by this SAP add-on solution and store them directly in the personnel file folder. Of course, there's necessary uh, reports available for built-in retention management, for document and usage statistics, and vital uh, reports like a missing documents check that allows you to ensure that uh, all employees actually have a signed non-disclosure document on file or all employees have an I-9 document on file. Uh, all these are uh, important regulatory requirements and an electronic personnel file solution lets you quickly check on those essentials. Um, so he, from here, I would like to go into the demonstration. And let's switch to the demonstration. Give me here a second here. All right, I hope you can uh, see my screen. You should see a standard SAP screen now. I already uh, switched into the personnel file transaction. It's easy to switch into it. You do that straight from uh, um, SAP employee master record display uh, through generic services for objects, and you're put into a, the personnel file folder for a specific person here, uh, in our case, for uh, Jennifer Morris, our demo person we um, we set up in, in our SAP um, IDIS client for demonstration purposes. Now on the left hand, uh, on the top, you see uh, a display of just core information directly from the um, parse master record for Jennifer Morris. And we can modify that. There is a standard selection of fields that is uh, available in the solution, but we can add fields. We can um, hide fields as needed. There is a number of action buttons on the top that allow you to uh, uh, execute certain functions that are part of the electronic personnel file from uh, looking at reporting functions to uh, setting bookmarks to finding documents to lending out files. All that is predefined. Um, and you, we can actually customize which icons an individual user can see through the role definition we do during the setup. So not everybody has all functions available. Depending on what their role in the organization is, we will grant them access or take access away to certain functions. Uh, this Listing here on the left-hand side with uh, the, the folder structure we see is customer specific. The solution is, is rolled out with a core set of uh, folders, but what we usually do is through an initial uh, fact-finding exercise, we work with you and your organization directly to find out which document types are the ones you really uh, want to archive. We, we come equipped with a list of document types that are um, most common with our clients and, um, and then work with you to find the right names for the folder, the right folder structure with uh, subfolders in it and down to the actual document level. Now, these um, folder structures uh, can be regionalized, which is very important for our very large corporate clients. Uh, so if you have, let's say, a, a, an international operation, I know not everybody, uh, not all our clients are operating on an international level, but many do. So if you have like a European 
uh, part of your organization. We could have a folder structure here that is specific to the European region, uh, one that is specific to um, uh, Asia Pacific regions, one that's specific to uh, U US uh, North America regions with the specific documents. Uh, that is quite important actually because not all, as you know, rules and regulations are different from country to country. And that allows you that you don't, you're not overwhelmed with a large number of folders or document types that actually do not apply to your region. For example, an I-9 document is only relevant for the United States. There's other documents in Europe that are relevant for those European countries. Now, as we go here through the demonstration, we're going to show you how you can actually get a document into the personal file folder. And it's easily done by this file, access, file system access button up here, that little, um, uh, barrel with the with the glasses next to it, and that gives you a view into your local um, uh, computer's file system. And that, uh, in in this case, there is a couple of directories that have been uh, uh, made accessible. That could be shared directories if you choose to implement a mailroom scanning service, or if you use multifunction devices to scan into shared directories or personalized uh, directories on a shared server. Or it could be uh, accessing a, a scan documents in a local. A directory on your workstation that is used to store documents um, that were readily scanned through a, a, a local USB scanner that is attached to a specific workstations station. And um, there, there's a number of considerations about um, uh, uh, how you would get documents into the system. Uh, again, as I said, there's desktop scanners, there's mailroom scanners, there's multifunction devices. And, and uh, sometimes our clients have already experience with scanners, sometimes they don't. So we are here to work with you. We help you in the, in the process of picking the right equipment, of setting this up uh, correctly. While uh, we are not directly selling scanning equipment. Uh, um, scanners are s sold and serviced like printers through local companies will help you find the right tools for the job and help you uh, set it up. So once we have the documents scanned in uh, and they are in the local file system, we can see here uh, in the directory scan documents that we have uh, two documents, an offer letter and acceptance letter here in the file system. And uh, it's, it's very uh, simple to get these documents into the system. And just for explanation, we're expanding the folder structure on the left-hand side. You can see we have folders, subfolders, and documents in those folders. And uh, getting a document over is simply done by drag and drop. So first we verify that we have the right document, then we take the document and drag it over into the folder where we want to um, have it uh, reside. So this is an application document. Now uh, we get, we are, we're getting a pop-up that allows us to specify what type of document it is. And to make this uh, very user-friendly, instead of showing you all the 100 document types you might have set up, and some companies, believe me or not, have done that many, even though uh, mostly uh, most companies are between 50 and 75 different HR documents, but some, some companies actually have over 100. But the, the more you have, the more important it gets that you have a, a well thought out folder structure that really shows you which documents are in that folder. Now, because we choose chose the application folder, we only see uh, the document types that are associated with that folder, and that will be an application letter, CV, correspondence uh, and so and so on. So we, we pick the appropriate document type and uh, we could add uh, a free text description here um, if we choose to just to, uh, to to better identify the document in the future. 
And once we save it, the record is automatically saved. And here on the on the bottom left corner, you see record was saved. Uh, that actually implies that the document was not only associated and put into that electronic file record, it was also sent to your archive system. It was it, 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 in this instance, in, in this instant, it was sent to the archive link compliant storage solution you were neither using beneath uh, this um, SAP electronic files application for secure and long-term storage. Now, if we if we um, want to um, bring the document up, all we have to do is we double click on the PDF symbol, and now we see the document being pulled up from the archive directly from the personnel file. And we have standard functionality to print, to uh, save locally, to uh, to increase the uh, the display of the document and so on. Uh, those are standard Adobe plugin functions, which can be modified um, if you if you, for example, do not want to allow printing of documents or do not want to allow the uh, saving documents to the local file system. And again, this can be done role specific. Now we in this example we have chosen an in place viewer. The display of the document can also be done in a separate window as a pop up um, to re reduce clutter on the screen and moving documents around and and move uh, and eliminating the necessity to move windows around. Uh, some of our clients prefer the 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 in place display like we show it today. Other clients might have a dual monitor set up and prefer a, a separate window display, which can, can be um, customized as needed. So, so that demonstrated how we get documents in from the file system. And uh, um, we're now demonstrating a very similar access. How would you get documents in from your email client. Let's assuming here uh, in this example that you're using Microsoft Outlook, very similar look and feel. You look at a document, you look at the documents by looking at your uh, Outlook inbox, which we display here in an in-place window. It, this is this is one-to-one -one the inbox you have on your computer, which is, is you know, um, mirrored through a, a plugin we supply for those users that do have email access. And again, the file net access, the file system access works, always works. Now for those power users who have a lot of email, a lot of documents coming in through email, we um, provide this uh, Outlook plugin as well. So uh, very, um, a uh, very simple procedure, uh, very much the same as we saw it before. We have an acceptance letter coming back in. We drag it over uh, into our applications folder. We give it a title, a description, and uh, we save it. It gets automatically archived and is also added to the electronic file. And uh, we can load it back up and uh, display the document on the screen. Now, um, those are the two primary functions to get documents into the system uh, on an ongoing basis with drag and drop from the file system with drag and drop functionality from Microsoft Outlook. Of course, there's other more high volume oriented functions like importing documents through a mass scanning process, importing documents from a scan service provider, or uh, utilizing barcode functionality, which is another way to get documents in. And I don't want to spend too much time on that, but uh, just pointed out that uh, we can, we can, we have that capability. So, uh, in this case here, we typing, we're typing in the barcode. If you have uh, uh, one-off documents with a barcode on it, there is USB barcode readers like uh, sticks or little uh, so-called barcode, uh, handheld barcode scanners that can be used to, to recognize a barcode for fast 
integration. And um, I, uh, again, I just I just wanted to point out that this is another option specifically designed for um, a input of a large amount of documents um, in an input process. And um, I think this uh, concludes the little demonstration I wanted to give you. And I'll go back to my slideshow. And um, again, as I said, we have demonstrations and uh, we also have access to a live system. We could show you um, all the other facets of the uh, tool as well. Uh, please, if you have interest, uh, would like to see more, uh, give us a call or send us an email and we'd be happy to set up some time and uh, show you, give you a more in-depth review of the capabilities. And uh, towards the end of the presentation, we'll highlight our phone numbers and email, um, email address. So um, looking back, uh, what's what's in it for our three professionals? The HR professional will spend less time on administration and can focus more on strategic tasks. The manager can more easily collaborate with HR because um, they have instant access to everything that's uh, in in. Uh, all the electronic files for their team. And a manager might have a different uh, file uh, folder view than an uh, employee and uh, might even have a different view than an HR professional. Uh, those roles are being defined during our setup process. And we, we uh, down to the document type, we're able to define what uh, each uh, person in the organization is able to see and how the personal file looks to them. But even for the employees, and uh, I know in, and we have implemented that in many states and in, in, in here in the United States, uh, there is a requirement that employees have a right to see their personal file. We have implemented that based on an uh, electronic request and approval structure so that employees can have access to their own files uh, with an employee specific file view and, uh, and request that access and it's granted for a limited amount of time. It expires and when they want to see it again, they file a new request and uh, can either automatically or manually be granted access to their files again. So, uh, what what are we achieving? We, we're we're managing documents that have been uh, distributed throughout the organization at a manager's desk, an employee's desk, some in the centralized uh, personnel file storage. We structure these documents into a clear cut folder structure with. Uh, authentication authorization rights with built-in security and compliance functions and we're adding processing functionality with workflows and checklists on top of it so as a result we have easy access to faxes electronic documents email voice messages we support highly standardized processes throughout the organization while maintaining ad hoc process management to flexibly react to, to, to business challenges, everyday business challenges. All of this with a very low training and ramp up cost for your own personnel, as well as for the other, for other people in your organization. Um, a testimonial from one of our customers, Shire Pharmaceuticals stated that uh, it, even though they were prepared to do uh, roll out educational sessions, it turned out that a simple four page instructional document with screenshot on it was enough to get everybody on the system and use 
uh, and and uh, instructed them enough to get on the system and use uh, all its functionality. And with a system that's so easy to learn, you will be uh, guaranteed a high level of compliance with all the rules and internal guidelines you have set up because people actually love to use it. it there's no uh, technology barrier involved. It's it's straightforward. It's easy to use. It's it's as easy as you saw it. Uh, in, in the previous demonstration. Here is another um, statement from uh, uh, one of our customers, Shire Pharmaceuticals. Prior to using an electronic file management system, and EFM is their abbreviation for their system, um, all employee files were in hard copy in various locations around the world. There was no consistency in the filing approach. Now all employee files are accessible to HR electronically anywhere in the world. There's a global consistency in the filing approach, which is huge for them as an international operations with their headquarters in the, in the UK and major operations here in the US. There is a, a clear data management Priorly, they, pri previously, they had no integration with SAP, poor data quality. Now it's fully SAP integrated with, with a tremendously improved data quality. And the compliance issue is, is very important too. The document retention was inconsistent and non-existent. There was no business continuity. Uh, they, they did not comply with internal audit requirements and there was no authorization-based rule for viewing documents. Now with the electronic personnel file, there is uh, consistent document retention rules around the world. Uh, it, full business continuity is fully enabled. They're, they are fulfilling their internal audit requirements and all the authorizations and roles are managed um, centrally in SAP. If you, if you want to see the full slide deck, it's available. Uh, as an ASAC discussion uh, document, uh, it, the, the full presentation was given at a local ASAC chapter meeting in here in, in Philadelphia at SAP's headquarters. And uh, you'd be happy to, uh, low, if you're an ASAC member, be happy to download the document. If you, if you should not be an ASAC member, please let us know and uh, we'll make the document available to you. Uh, what's the advantage of an integrated solution? You might say, well, you know, I can build an HR personnel file with my standalone document system. I don't need the SAP integration. The point of an integrated solution really is that there is no data duplication, no redundancies. The personnel data we use to, to populate some of the functions of the H HR personnel file is directly taken from SAP ERP. Uh, fields and displayed back to the users. We have integrated authorization management, role-based access to document types, processes, and transactions. There's no need to maintain yet another uh, set of logins, yet another set of passwords. Even if you use uh, single sign-on, it would require your IT team to expand that to yet another application, which in itself creates uh, more uh, technical complexity because this is all inside SAP. It, uh, all that comes for free. If, if you want to think of it, it's, it's actually um, almost a cloud application because what's the characteristic of a cloud application that you don't have to worry about the hardware and the software running the application. And that's exactly what this is. The personnel file runs on your SAP system, which is already there. The hardware is there. The software is there. There is no need to invest in any of those because you're just utilizing the existing infrastructure. There's integrated process management, integration with employee self-service and management self-service capability, and it it relies on the proven SAP Archive Link document interface um, to store securely store the documents uh, for long-term archiving. Um, 
before we move on here, a, a little um, side track I wanted to uh, go into, and I'll keep this short. I'll jump over the next two or three slides because we, we're already uh, quite into uh, quite some time into the presentation. But there is an additional functionality I wanted to point out, which is sold as a separate uh, toolkit that allows you to create documents based on templates and data filled straight from SAP. Like you can do Word templates and fill in data for serial letters from an Excel spreadsheet, a similar idea using Word templates and fill in data directly from SAP fields. So you can build templates in Word and populate uh, data from your HR master. And uh, you have the same security you have uh, throughout SAP, very powerful tool very handy if you want to create documents on a on a larger scale uh, whether that is uh, for promotional letters whether that is just uh, uh, process change process changes uh, compliance information you are sending out uh, if you have legal phrases that need to be part of it those phrases can be secured in the document composer functionality if you have any of those needs uh, let us know and again, this is a little bit outside the core personnel file, but a very interesting add-on solution. So I'm jumping over uh, these documents and go right into what uh, what it takes uh, to implement the solution, what are the components. And I talked about most of what is on this slide, the XFT, Personnel file solution is part of a suite of solutions that XFT offers on some core functions we call the XFT task manager, the compliance cycle, and the queue manager, and the XFT personnel file is one of the pillars of those utility solutions that are available. It, they sit in SAP, they're implemented as an SAP transport or an installation package. They use SAP front-end infrastructure, scanners can be added to it, there's hardware, it, relies on through the SAP Archive Link interface to store the documents on storage hardware is integration with multifunction devices and easy drag and drop integration to your desktop, computer desktop as we saw before. Solution is fully certified by SAP. It get, actually gets recertified every year and uh, it is supported through the SAP Service Marketplace, which is quite remarkable because there is really no difference for you um, to log a service request, whether that is for your core HR solution or whether that's for the add-on XFT solution, you go in through the same SAP support ticket mechanisms and all you do is you select the XFT add-on solution as the, the solution you, you select that part, that XFT part um, uh, uh, number, as, as you see here, XX part XFT, that's the one uh, we're selecting. A little red ribbon is out of place and I need to uh, repair that. But, um, but it's easy as that. And then um, given, uh, we, can, we can diagnose the problem through the same secure mechanisms you have today. So there's no uh, uh, doubt and how do you get the, the support. The support works exactly like SAP support um, and there is no, oh, this is an SAP problem, this is an XFT problem. Through that integrated support approach, we can diagnose whatever uh, situation we're facing and, and get you an answer quickly, whether that's uh, in your development system, quality control system, or even in your production system. Uh, Again, I, I pointed out the XFT portfolio includes uh, multiple functions for document management. Uh, personnel file is, is one of the very prominent ones. It's a great solution. It's been rolled out to many international customers all around the world. Now, um, a little bit to us, uh, to Solution Exchange and our expertise, we are an agent for XFT in the United States. Uh, we uh, focus on 
uh, document-centric products uh, all around your SAP system, whether that is uh, business applications like the XFT HR application, there is an FI application as well, whether that is an archiving functionality or document migration functionality, uh, which we have the KGS suite of products for. We help you with the project management around your implementation. We provide all the enterprise content management expertise uh, down to secure storing your documents uh, on a compliant hardware uh, with our Eternity solution. And we have capabilities to work with you on your retention management and data archiving tasks. So, so all of that uh, covers your, uh, our expertise covers all your document management needs that uh, can start with an HR uh, application as we saw today and um, maybe extend to other business facets. Now, a few key points to take home. The XFT personnel file bridges the gap between electronic and document-based information. Its in integration into SAP is the basis for process continuity and transparency and uh, its capability to uh, utilize standard and ad hoc workflows make those processes fully compliant document in, um, composition capabilities, as I showed with the little um, uh, review of the document composer allows you to improve um, compliance even more by creating documents following a certain standard. And with all that integration, we um, achieve um, a high level uh, of uh, with with all these functions we achieve a high level of integration and transparency while at the same time the solution is very flexible and very customizable and this uh, concludes my presentation and i hand it back to kristen thank you thank you johan this concludes the presentation section of our webinar for today we hope you found the last 45 minutes informative and got some good takeaways. I will now open the floor for questions. Please post your questions in the question panel on the right-hand side. Jochen, we have one question. Um, how do you compare yourself to other solutions in the market? Uh, that, that's that's a very good and very fair question. Of course, we, we realize that we're not the only game in town and there's other solutions that uh, have similar uh, functionality. And we, we get often compared to the open text solution. And um, I'm proud to say that the majority of our customers have compared us to the open text solution and have found that uh, the uh, XFT product offers the same functionality and more than the open text solution, specifically the lending functionality uh, to give people temporary access is very unique and is only be found in the XFT solution. And that's crucial for getting more people involved and really using electronic document management throughout your organization in a safe and secure fashion as well. Um, uh, as well as the drag and drop functionality, which is also very unique and is a was a huge decision point for Shire Pharmaceuticals. That's why uh, they they thought uh, the XFT solution was superior to to what they would see. In addition, you will open text will tell you um, sometimes that they can't really estimate how much consulting work is needed to implement so the solution. Um, we have proven that the solution in its core functionality with what you saw in my little screen cam demo today, it can be actually implemented in as little as 10 business days. And we have proved that it can be done so. Usually because we want to have a bit more time for discussions and have uh, more in-depth conversations with your team, we recommend to uh, purchase 25 consulting days to get the solution implemented in the first uh, 
round and, and have all the profiles, security profiles set up, the file folder structure defined. But again, we're talking days, not weeks and months here in doing the implementation. So it's a huge, that's, that's a huge difference to what you will hear from other vendors in the market. Thank you. And another question is, is additional storage space needed to house the electronic documents? Um, yes, we we do require, as I mentioned in in uh, the technology slide, we do require an SAP Archive Link compliant storage solution, and that could be anything you already have in house. Many of our clients already have a solution they use for other business areas that we can use and securely add on HR documents to that or we can stand up a uh, simple SAP solutions uh, based on the SAP content server, low cost, um, maybe less functionality than you would expect, but um, uh, the cost advantage is there. Uh, and uh, Solution Exchange offers uh, uh, very solid uh, products uh, from uh, KGS software, a, a company that operates internationally and provides uh, safe and secure SAP Archive Link compliant storage functionality. And we can use that in conjunction with the Eternity solutions to provide a full suite of secure storage solution. But again, if you already have something, we're happy to use that and, and build the HR personnel file on top of your existing solution. And then another question was, um, regarding employee self-service and manager self-service, are those functionalities supported as well? Uh, yes, they are. Uh, we have uh, out-of-the-box uh, web solutions that can be utilized with uh, just a, a few days of setup requirements uh, to define the screens, maybe make the screens look like your internal web pages. Um, they can be integrated into uh, in-house portals through links and access to the files is secured in any case through uh, web login. So uh, even though it's a web application, the login works just the same as if you would use the subgui. So same credentials get you access to that. We have um, a, a number of customers who uses those applications, uh, web applications, ESS and MSS applications today. And um, and also in integration with the SAP process and forms, which is the Adobe product line for electronic forms. Okay, thank you. We we have no further questions in the question panel, so um, I have to thank everyone very, very much for attending our webinar today, and we hope you could get some interesting takeaways, and until next time, goodbye. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Goodbye.